Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to my channel Movie Files. Elliot back again with a brand new movie review and today we'll be discussing the new Danish black comedy drama by the name of Riders of Justice which will be available in theaters in LA and New York this Friday, May 14th but will be available to everyone to check out on May 21st. Now this film did come out in Denmark this past November but like I said it will be making its way to a wider audience in the coming weeks. Now I got the chance to check it out and, and courtesy of Magnet releasing and I'm really excited to let you all know what I thought about this film which happens to star one of my favorite actors in Matt Mickelson. What did I think about the comedy? What did I think about the drama? Should you all check it out? We're going to talk about all that in the spoiler free review but before we dive into it make sure you're following me on all my other social media accounts. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the community. Consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. That way you can get the alert for when I drop new content. It would mean a lot to me if you all can like and share this review. It helps out the channel a lot, but I also appreciate all the support. And in the comments, let me know if Writers of Justice was a film that was on your radar. If you already saw it, if you live in Denmark or other markets that they played the film last year. If you saw it, what were your thoughts? And of course, once you've gotten the chance to see it, once it becomes more available in the coming weeks, what you think about it? Let me know your pros, your cons your thoughts on the performances this is a black dark comedy let me know if you like the comedic elements did you like the drama did it mix well for you and just your general thoughts on this film let's have a discussion about it in the comments below so for me personally Riders of Justice was one of those films. This is why I love, you know, independent, international films. It's the element of surprise. So for me, I didn't watch the trailer. I didn't read the synopsis. I, I Every month, I get, like, you know, new releases, independent releases, stuff like that. And all I saw was the poster, and I saw it was starting Mads Mikkelsen. I said it in my review a couple months ago when I reviewed another round. He is one of my favorite actors in Hollywood. He's a chameleon. He really dives into the character. And I just love how what he brings to his role. So that was my only celebration point and I just want to start by that point Matt Mickelson He's so fantastic, guys, and in particularly in this film. Again, not to give too much away. Again, I didn't watch the trailer, and if you haven't seen the trailer of Writers of Justice, don't watch the trailer. I would say go into it like I did. I'm going to be very vague about the plot, but just trust me. If you are a fan of Matt Mickelson, if you are a fan of films that have the element of surprise and things just kind of elevate after each half of the film, then this is the film for you, and that kind of gives away my general thoughts. I'm a fan of this film, guys, but going back to what I was saying about Matt Mickelson as Marcus, again, just vaguely going over the plot you have Marcus played by Mads who is in in the army he gets a call to come back home kind of forced to go back home because you learn from his character he feels more comfortable he feels more home at war he feels more comfortable killing people right and he doesn't really know how to deal with like a, a more normal life the wife the kid you know just your domestic living life so he's forced to come back home because unfortunately he gets the news that his wife was killed in a tragic train accident now on that train happened to be his daughter who survives who sees her mom dies right in front of her but in this car accident so in this train accident so there's an element right there it's like okay there's a bit of a tragedy that's where the drama comes in but on this train there are other people and there are other survivors and one of the survivors who is a character by the name of Otto he's someone that he studies numbers nothing happens by coincidence so he comes to the conclusion that this was a uh, there was some foul play involved in this train accident involving this particular biker game by the name of Riders of Justice. Now, they uh, you have Otto who goes to Marcus's front door. He gives him this information regarding, okay, I believe your wife was murdered and a part of this foul play. And that's where Marcus kind of has this kind of tale of revenge. So there is the the surface level element of this film. It can be looked at as a revenge tale, but there's so much more about this movie that we'll dive into. And there's some characters that have some trauma. There's the, the element of surprise regarding the villains this this film has a good amount of, of violence and action and the comedy and that's where I want to kind of go back into Matt Mickelson's character who just brings it man he has this kind of character that we have in Marcus is again someone that loves war that loves violence who doesn't know how to express his feelings and now coming back home from war coming back home because his wife unfortunately passed and dealing with the real life circumstances of raising his daughter because he really hasn't been there from what you get from the film you really can tell he's kind of a, a detached father he, he provides for his family he loves his daughter and his wife, but he's not there on the emotional level that you would expect from a parent, right? So seeing Matt's kind of playing that role, his relationship with his daughter, how that kind of unfolds, and then you throw in the mix, the Otto character and his two associates that get thrown into the equation, it just really kind of shows you how Matt's is able to play 
He's not necessarily a good guy in this movie, but he's also not a bad guy. I like how Mads plays in that gray area. He does a fantastic job in the film and doing so and just seeing his arc and seeing him just kind of slowly, not giving too much away, let himself a little bit loose, right? He's dealing with, and again, I mentioned how the film can be looked at as just a tale of revenge, but this is a film about grief and how people handle losing someone, how people suppress their trauma, suppress their pain, suppress their true feelings, and seeing Matt's kind of go over that throughout the film, his relationship with his daughter was just fantastic. That actress did a really good job of of being the kind of the glue of, of him and his, that, that father and uh, daughter relationship, but also I mentioned the character Otto. This was a character that I was very surprised with. I, I this cast is filled with a lot of Denmark actors, and this is an actor that is a acclaimed actor in the Denmark market, and he plays Otto, and the Otto character, to me, was probably my favorite character in the film, because there's as the fo- the film unfolds, you learn more about his tragedies, his backstory. You understand why he's in the position that he in, why he's so gun ho on the the career path that he's on, and just seeing his arc and seeing his journey and how he gets attached to the story was fantastic. I thought that the performances were fantastic. I thought the acting was really great, and I really want to also focus on the director of this film, who is an acclaimed director. This is my first film of his that I've seen, and I definitely will explore more of his filmography. And that is Anders Thomas Jansen. He does such a great job of directing this film because there's a lot of tonal shifts in this film. Again, you have a drama, you have a comedy, because when you get Otto and his two friends into the mix, that's where the comedy comes a little bit more apparent in the film. And then you have this element of just, again, the the theme of grief and dealing with grief and how people kind of surround themselves with other people that might be going through the same thing even though they might subconsciously not know that these people are going through trauma they just kind of gravitate towards each other and they kind of share a similar pain in regards to tragedy and, and, and trauma in their past I thought that Anders did such a great job of just bringing all those pieces to the puzzle together there are some criticisms that I'll get into a little bit later but for the most part I thought the film was really well paced I thought the direction was fantastic the the acting again was really well done and, and and the themes and the story, what it has to offer to me, was just really kind of hits home, especially when you get to that uh, final act of the film. Transitioning into some things that didn't really work for me. Again, I do applaud that the tonal shifts I thought was handled pretty well. For some people, it might not sit well with them because, again, it took me a minute going into my criticisms. It took me a minute to kind of get used to the tone because it is shifting so much. We start off with a tragedy. We go into a little bit of the drama. We get into the comedy with the three other characters. So it did take me a little bit to kind of get used to that tone. But once I got used to it, it was a you know a really good, entertaining, uh, kind of compelling, surprising thrill ride for me in this film. But I will say that at some points, when I look at some of those secondary characters, Otto's friends, they have some tragic past and 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 when it handles this is a black comedy so of course it's meant to make you feel uncomfortable but i know for some people it may i don't want to say offend people but uh, there's a character leonard who has a tragedy and a very uh i'll just say it involves sexual abuse and there's another character that also involves sexual assault and sexual abuse things of that nature and i i just wish the film would have explored that a little bit more carefully because it is a very sensitive subject subject matter and i feel like the way that the film handles their tragedy is a little bit underdeveloped and like I said may offend some people so I wish it was a little bit more fleshed out regarding their tragedy their kind of past and how that kind of gets into their current timeline so I wish that was explored a little bit more but outside of those things I will say and this isn't really a big issue I have with the film but there are villains the the, the writers the bank the uh, the bike game in this film they're very generic. They're very one-dimensional. They they don't really add that much to the film outside of just having a high body count. And I'll just kind of leave it at that. So I will say I wish the secondary characters and their trauma was explored a little bit more. And I wish the villains had a little bit more uh, dimensions to what they offer to the film. But those are my only criticisms. Uh, just kind of wrapping up this review. Overall thoughts. Before I get into that, make sure to like, share, comment below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But Riders of Justice is, again, a film that I went into cold. Uh, didn't really know what I was getting into besides, you know, probably going to get a great performance by Matt Mickelson, and he definitely delivered in that department as well as his other counterparts and his supporting cast. I thought the direction was fantastic. Again, the story just really does explore how different, how we're all, how we handle grief differently, right? Some people want to sit down and talk to others to really kind of, you know, get out their pain and their trauma, really kind of express themselves. Some people, you know, build that up and express themselves in a, in a matter of violence. In this case, we get that with Marcus. So I think this film really kind of does tie into how people handle different things, how life can be 
meaningless meaningless to some how life can be you know coincidental how things aren't meant to happen how things do accidentally happen it, it ties into this uh, the question of life and what the meaning of life can be for many different people so I enjoyed that aspect and with that being said I'll give Writers of Justice a solid four out of five guys this is a film I really enjoyed I'm excited to explore it again just to kind of see if maybe I missed some more uh, you know nuances in the story and the performances but four out of five for me a really solid watch Matt Mickelson and yet again proves to me why he's one of the best actors working today and again based on this film I will be exploring this director's filmography because I was really impressed by his direction and writing in this film so that's my thoughts on the film make sure if you've seen the film to let me know your thoughts your pros your cons and let's discuss in the comments as always like share subscribe to the channel hit the bell that way you don't miss any of my other content hope you all are staying safe hope you enjoyed this review and we'll see you in the next video